Here's a story you don't think about too often. There has been a worldwide decline in the population of the honeybee. Yes, the honeybee. Bees help pollinate about $15 billion worth of crops in the U.S. alone, so they are important. That's raising concerns not just among environmentalists, but also farmers, too. Rosa Kazan takes us there. These two boxes are supers, and that's where honey is stored. John Kendall took up beekeeping as a hobby after like. his retirement as a farmer. Good sting is good for you. Good for your arthritis. You bet. But he hasn't enjoyed losing his beehives in the winter. It's devastating when it happens. They're there one day and you look at them the next day and they're gone. No sign of any bee. It's called colony collapse disorder, a troubling phenomenon among honeybees first recognized as a widespread concern back in 2006. Members of Kendall's beekeeping club say they've suffered losses as high as 80%. Over the last eight years, American beekeepers have lost around 30% of their hives on average each winter. That's a cost of $500 a hive. Compare that to 10 15%, the historical norm of overwinter losses prior to 2006. The quality of food that the honeybees are getting is not as good as it used to be. Scientists like entomology professor Beth A. King blame a variety of factors, including pesticides, disease, and a lack of traditional food sources. The human population growth just goes up and up, and if there's more people, that means we move into areas that used to be just flowers and grass. We move into prairie areas. That's why the U.S. government has launched a new $8 million incentives program to encourage farmers to grow bee-friendly crops. Come on, girls. This is the newest, newest baby right here. Farmers like Al Bailey. He's applied to receive a government subsidy to plant a specific seed mix on his pastures. They give us the money to buy the seed, and they tell us what seed to buy for the rotational grazing and the pollinators. The program targets five Midwestern U.S. states, where more than half of the country's commercially managed honeybees are kept every summer. Bailey sees it as a win-win proposition. It helps the bees and it feeds the cows. The more bees you got, the better your pollination you get to raise your crops. You got to have good crops to raise good cows, and the bees are the key. Kendall says he's just happy. The government is finally making an effort to save the bees. The bee is telling us we've got to be smart enough to listen to them. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, is Troy, Wisconsin.